Coming at storage from the filmmaker's perspective is really important when you're dealing with production environments. Uh, filmmaking is a very unique set of problems. It poses unique challenges. And if you're not aware of those and you're not dealing with a vendor that is aware of those, uh, you can lead yourself into trouble really, really quickly. Um, one of the things that is great about our product is that we have built in from our experience as filmmakers, and it's not just me, it's our, uh, my boss, our CTO, um, every, pretty much every engineer that we have on the product and from the sales side, all people who have sold into production environments before, um, we're, we're all aware of the things that can go wrong. Storage is, is one of those things that nobody really wants to talk about. Um, it's, I think it's important to approach with sympathy as well. In, in one lifetime, we've gone from the main tools of the trade being scissors and scotch tape, and the film carried its own image, right? So if you wanted to shoot a film, you would buy film and you would shoot the image and the image was on the film. Uh, now <laughs> that we're digital, uh, you have to store all those images somewhere and sometimes you have to store multiple copies and, and people are still getting used to thinking in that, in that mode. Um, I've scoped many feature films, televisions, commercials, and now we've just moved on to scoping facilities that do TVs and commercials and feature films. So the problem set is larger, it's at scale, and uh, the storage can make or break you at that level. Um, you know, on an individual show, you might be able to skimp by and go buy some drives from Best Buy, but when you're running a multi-million dollar international media conglomerate and you need to be making 300 to 400 five minute videos a week or a month or, or three feature films a year, um, you're gonna understand exactly how important storage is.